Hey everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to design the AutomaBlox windshield here. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is come up here, make sure you're in design mode here. Come on up above design and we're going to select new design. And we're going to first start a 2D sketch. So we're going to click here. I like to select the XY plane. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is to come up here to create and grab our line tool. And we're just going to start at our origin here and drag a, a flat line along our X axis about, um, we're going to type in 3.04, hit enter. Okay, and we're going to sort of zoom out here so you guys can see a little better. All right, and now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to start using the arc tool. So you're going to come up to create and select a three point arc. And when you're making an arc, you always click once where you want to begin the arc. And then you click a second time where you want to end the arc. So I'm going to place this right above 0.5. And then so you clicked here and then you clicked here. And then as you move your mouse back and forth, you can adjust the radius of the arc. And I'm going to make something that kind of looks something like that for now. OK. And then I'm going to make another arc. I'm going to click here where I want to start my arc. And I'm going to click again where I want the other side of my arc. And I'm just going to kind of come on up here in this general area. So I'm going to click there, use my mouse again to adjust the radius, make something that looks maybe a little bit like that. OK, now I'm going to click here and make a third arc. And then come on over here and click here and adjust the radius so it looks something like, like that. OK. And once we're done with that, okay, we can hit, let's hit escape here and we're going to come back over here and we're going to start adding some dimensions here. So I want to click here and click here and I want this dimension here to be 2.55. And I want this dimension here to be 3.01. Okay, and now I want this dimension here from here to our origin, a distance of 0.64. And now we're going to go ahead and um, put some radiuses in here for our arcs. So we're going to click here and just make a general radius here of 6. A radius here of 0.4 and a radius here of six. And I need to add one more dimension. I'm going to click here and click here. And I want that distance to be one. All right, I'm going to move this dimension up just so it's out of the way. Uh, now, we're going to go ahead and delete a couple constraints here. We're going to click on our dimension constraint here, and we're going to delete that guy, and we're going to delete that guy. And now we're going to come back up here to our geometric constraints here, and I'm going to select my tangent constraint. Okay, I'm going to make... Now, what this tangent constraint is going to do, it's going to smooth everything out. So we have a nice, uh, smooth transition between our arcs. So we're going to click here, and we're going to click here, and now we have our tangent constraint applied. And we're going to do one more. We're going to click here and click here. And now we have our second tangent constraint applied. All right, so we're finished with our 2D sketch. Let's come on up here to finish sketch. And we're going to go ahead now and extrude this guy a distance of 2.55. Go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to zoom in. And now we're going to add some fillets here, some 3D fillets. So we're going to come on up here to our tools and we're going to click on our 3D fillet line. We're going to click there. I'm going to come on over here, click there, and I'm going to make that 0.5 fillet. All right. And if you didn't get fillets, go ahead and hit OK. If you don't see your fillets, well, 
the reason is, is because you didn't apply those tangent constraints. So you need to go back into your sketch. Okay, so to do that, you click, right click, edit sketch, and you'll go back into your 2D sketch and you need to add those tangent constraints. Okay. All right, so notice here I see my sketch. You can always turn your visibility here of your sketch on and off by clicking this little I button. All right, so I'm going to flip my part underneath now and I'm going to shell it. So I'm going to come up here to tools and right here, this is called the shell tool. Okay, so it removes material from a part of an interior. So we're going to click here and then we're going to click on the face and we're going to make the thickness of the shell 0 0.07 inches and hit OK. Okay, so notice now it's kind of hollowed out, if you will, or shelled. All right, so now we want to go ahead and add a plane, a sort of a custom plane that's offset. So we're going to come on up here to where you see construct, and we're going to go to offset plane, and we're going to want to offset it from this edge or bottom of our part. So we're going to click there, and we're going to offset it a distance of 0.67. Hit enter. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start a 2D sketch on that same plane that we just created. All right, I'm going to center it here and I'm going to go to create and down where it says project. Okay, I'm going to come over here and select project. I'm going to select this line and that line. Hit OK. And now I'm going to come back up here and grab my rectangle tool, I'm going to get a, create a two-point rectangle, and I'm just going to kind of drag it out in this sort of general vicinity. Okay, I'm going to come back up now to my sketch dimension tool, and I want to center and dimension this rectangle. So from this edge to this edge, I want it to be 2.26. And then from this edge to this edge, I want it to be 0.22, excuse me, 0.29 inches. And then from this edge to our other projected edge, we want that distance to be 2.22. And then from this edge to this edge, we want that distance to be 0.68, enter. All right, so we have our square here where we want it. Now we just got to come back and add a couple 2D fillets. So we're going to click here, here, and we're going to change that. So our radius is 0.15, and we're going to continue going around the side of our square here and add the rest of those 2D fillets. Go ahead and hit enter. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and offset this line. So we're gonna come up here to modify, select offset, and we're gonna drag it in a distance of 0 0.05. Hit enter. All right, so now we need to make these little rib features. And to do that, we're gonna make some construction lines. So we're gonna come over here and click construction, hit create, and come back to our line and we're going to make construction lines. Now I can't overstate the importance of construction lines because remember construction lines are not part of the object. They simply help us design or construct the object. So I'm going to make a couple lines here just basically coming down straight in this general area. Okay, I'm going to click, I'm going to hit escape and make another construction line in this general area straight down and make another one sort of coming across this way and make sure everything here is perpendicular or 90 degrees from each other hit escape we're going to go ahead now and add some dimensions on these construction lines so everything's properly uh, centered and symmetrical so we want this construction line to be 1.94 inches from that edge and we want this construction line to be 0.95 and then we want this construction line to be from this edge 
a distance of 1.28. So we're finished with our construction lines. Make sure you take it off construction line mode there. And now we're going to come back and we're going to zoom in here to make those little rib features. All right, and we're going to grab our two point rectangle and we're going to right on this line, we're just going to draw out a basic rectangle here and we're going to throw some dimensions in here. So we're going to make sure that it's centered. So we're going to make that 0 0.025 and this side 0 0.025 and then from here to here Okay, 0 0.04. And then we're going to come on up to our trim tool and we're just going to click there, trim that guy right there. So we have something that looks like this. And we need to do that a bunch more times. We need to do it here, here, here here and here. So we need to go make five more little ribs here. All right. So I'm going to do it really quickly. And we're going to make our last one here. And there's a lot of different ways you can do this. I'm kind of keeping it fairly simple and straightforward. Okay. So it's a little easier to follow. All right, so when we go around, we should have all of our little rib features in place and we're good to go. 
Now we can, we're pretty much done with our sketch. Hit escape, finish sketch. And now we are going to extrude this guy. And we're going to click on that guy. And we are going to go to distance to object. And we're going to click on that face because we want to click where it goes. Okay. So let me repeat that. We want to go to a distance to object and we're going to click on the object, the part of the object where we want to extrude to. Okay. And we don't want to cut. We want to join. Okay. And now we can hit okay. Okay. So the last thing we're going to want to do now is to give it a material. So let's come on over to design, come down to render, click here under render, and we're going to search for plastic. We're going to look for polycarbonate clear. We're going to drag that to it. And then we're going to right click over here on polycarbonate clear. And we're going to edit and we can make, give it a cool green color. Let's see how that looks. Hit done. Okay, maybe not. Let's try it again. Let's just actually click right there. And it's a little dark. Move it around, play with it, see what you can do. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.